Yeah, I just missed it. A beautiful barn owl, huge, about this big, and like this, flew right out of here. Unbelievable. I heard a kind of a weird thing in, in the rafter for a second, and all of a sudden he flew right out. So he's staying up here. He's a white, white barn owl. As long as he doesn't crap on my stuff, I don't care, but. But he was definitely up here. I don't remember seeing one time up there before. My brother showed me it, but yeah, so he's still around. Wow, amazing. I would love to get a get him on video. That's sad. He flew this way. He might even be in a tree somewhere. Can't see anything. Up that way or anything. I have to get those trees topped. Those trees take them down about 30 feet down. This is all rotting and falling down. Take them down to about that line here. Yes, the owl's gone. Wow, amazing, beautiful. White, white, like bright white looking. Wow. Okay, well, I'm here today to, uh, I want to strip all the stoves out. And I want to see how much wire I get out of these stoves. I'm not sure how many stoves I have, but then we can average it out. Just stoves only for wire. Got one, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stoves. One, two, three, six. Eight stoves, okay. So that'll be the mission today and then I can get some of this regular light iron in there this can go to swing okay let me get organized get my tools ready and we'll continue okay okay it's the first one here Bit of a slim one, but nevertheless, there's still wire here. It's wire that's sitting there free. I'm taking I'm just going to show a couple that I stripped. This is the first one, so I'll show the first one. And if I find one that's really good with wire, I'll show it. And we'll see how much wire we get of all this eight stoves weighed up and stuff. Sometimes it comes off really easy as I pull it right out. I'm getting a full, full amount of the wire. Not really too concerned about what's underneath here. But uh, since this one's open, I mean there's a little extra wire here if you want to. I know people let their stoves get this bad. They're cooking off it, right? Eating off it.
Okay, so that's uh, number one. There it is. Okay. okay, I'm just sorting the stuff out the garbage. Is it good stuff? It's kind of cool. Actually, it might be crystal. It might be crystal. If they're really light, I just chuck them away. Chuck them away. I'm going to eliminate some of the stuff here as brass. Creeper. The circuit board. Uh, shiny shiny things balls crystal I think the way they shine I just got the connections off Even these things, if you take them apart, they got brass connections. Right? Just how much time do you have, right? Plating. Okay, so that's what I'm doing. I'm sorting through some of these buckets here, just so that I could uh, clean up some of this loose stuff. Filling up everything I can with these loose buckets. So that's a little freezer and then the fridge. I didn't put nothing in the fridge, but I have other, another freezer there and a bunch of uh, other stuff. Whatever I can use or whatever's like gold plated. Okay, I'm gonna keep moving. See this stove here with the uh, no elements showing. Lots of stuff, lots of wire. There's even uh, other stuff in here. There's a rotisserie mortar, a solenoid, transformer. That's why these things are so heavy, they got so much extra in there. Probably cost you twice, twice as much as stove. I wonder why one stove is $500 and the other one's like $2,000. That's what you pay for, right?
the wire here. Look at this. There's actually a lot of wire under here too also. I'm keep moving. Just gonna cut the rest of this wire off here. I may, may go underneath here too. If I go under, I'll show you the underneath part. So you can see what I mean by wire. It's gotta be at least a few pounds out of this thing, I would think. Let me cut it off here. And also, I was going to show you two big, long IC chips here. A bunch of other small ones here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight IC chips. Which don't mean nothing, but you just never know. I think that it was faulted. The resistors were burning. See that? All the resi resistors. That's the problem. And when the timer goes out, the timer board gets shot. You cannot use the oven at all. That's why they chuck these things out. And the guy was gonna give me one and I tried it out. Oven, everything works except the oven. It's just all crap, cheaply made. Even though it's an expensive unit, it's still cheaply made. Or you know what it is? The quality's there, it's the cheap components made overseas. Not knowing where, but overseas I would think. And the parts, they burn out just quick. Like they almost like they have a, a reset time in there. You can use it for maybe uh, you know, a couple, couple years, three, four years, and after that, components start breaking down, materials break down. That's it. Chuck her in the garbage. Okay, let me keep going. It's aluminum skirt here on the front here. Actually, the whole thing's aluminum added value here you just gonna have to look you don't get it too often but uh steel so it was actually well built let me take the switches off it's up here I'll just clean it quickly and it's sitting here forever I don't keep these switches that you knew. Not, nothing in them, to be honest. They're stainless. It's really nothing. The contacts. I'll just take a quick look at the second bit. See what it weighs. The curiosity. That's it. I'm saying a pound. Point nine, so almost a pound. And then I have these 
transformer, a mortar, a solenoid with copper, a little bit of copper here. So it's actually pretty good value. This one for sure, anyways. See, I don't, I don't miss any wire. Even though the wire is cut, I can still fish it out. See that? it here quickly it's all steel that's why I don't take these sw new switches no more See, all, all steel it's all steel oh, or nothing steel too okay I'll just show you the deck after when I flip it so stay tuned okay this one's not spectacular but uh, pretty good Still good if you ask me. Okay, that's done. Yeah, whoa, feels weight. There's weight there. This is only three I stripped right there. It's three. One, two, three. Okay, nothing to do with anything about anything else. It was just three stoves. Only where I'm showing is from the stoves. Okay, anyone have a guess? Let's have a guess here. Um, eight. I'm saying 15 pounds. I'm saying two, almost two pound average. Some are better, some are less. Any guesses? We'll strip all eight today for sure. Uh, there's a really old one there. This was a good one. And then there's a couple cheap ones mixed in there. Old one should be good. Uh, one's apartment size. So my guess is 15 pounds of a low grade number two wire. Okay. okay last one here. The last one here is going to have uh, aluminum sides. It's almost like a little nut here. Kind of like a nut screw. Cast here. Let me just grab this here. We got some aluminum knobs here, plastic and aluminum, so it won't take much to strip them. Just have to go like this. This comes right out. It's their value if you wanted. I'm not gonna get rich, but hey. Part of the recycling game. So here's the sides here. So some of it's hardwired in there for the fuses. Actually, most of it's hardwired to be honest.
the heat sensor, copper wire. Number one. So if you get all the wire underneath here, you might get a little extra wire. I didn't bother on most of it, so just a couple I went for. So I'm gonna sit here forever. Need to get this bin out of here tomorrow. Or at least get the majority full. No rush to get out of here, but just to get it full. Thicker gauge wire, so it's a lot heavier. Stuff here. wires here and then some of these switches will be copper this one's a good one here you want this one here there's only just a couple brass ones but this is this is good timer for the clock is okay fuses you can pop out but those fuses to be honest they're not worth it just got a little piece there only don't know where so you got a little bit of plate on here Contacts here are actually not that bad, but a bit of a pain. Okay, so that's pretty well it here on this one. I'm gonna knock these off. I'm actually gonna hammer them. Hammer them off. Problem is, uh, screws are hard, really hard to get to. You have to go way in there. Let's get my gloves on. Okay, so I'll take the next one off here, and I'll take this off here, and then we'll weigh this up in a minute. Stay tuned. Okay, eight stove stripped. Uh, two with a metal top. Rest for uh, normal and one was uh, apartment size, so eight total. Feels pretty heavy. Heavy 15 pounds, I think. Amount of weight. Zero. Fluctuating a bit here. Things crooked. Just dump it in here. Three and a half pounds. Get a tear, tear it. Yeah, tear it. Oops. Just at four pounds, come on, seven four pounds. Just 
What's this way here? It says 15 with the buckets. 14.9. So it's almost 15. So we'll just say 15. Let's see what the bucket weighs. The battery's getting weak or something. going on here just fluctuating too much not normal it's level here okay so 3.5 three and a half pounds so so 11 and a half pounds not very much really well, I guess it's like tweet, but uh, I thought it would weigh a little more to be honest. So that's kind of what it is, you know. It's like if you have time, you want some extra money, but I, I don't mind doing it because it just gets me a lot of wire. gives me a tub of wire over time right so but yeah it's a little a little more unstable I don't know why it's just body could be weak or something Goes to three and a half. Okay, so three and a half, three and a half pounds is bucket. So we eleven and a half pounds. Eleven and a half pounds of uh, wire from these um, ovens. So stoves, still free money, I guess. Okay, you know time is time, but you know I don't mind cleaning them anyways because. I'm not sure when uh, when they shred these, do they capture all the wire? I'm not sure if there's losses or what, or, you know, any event is capturing all the wire that I want to get out of there. There's more, probably a little more wire, but so look here, see that? Good contacts. Let's just grab these out. Looks like there might be a little bit of steel mixed in, but anyways. A little mortar here and stuff but okay we're gonna keep moving Cut, cut it down a bit. These I want to get rid of. Keep it clean.
least a little bit cleaner on this side. Actually a jack handle right there. Get the hammer that the concrete. There's really nothing in this. Rubber chip. That pile there and a bunch of small things here and there. Okay, aluminum. Gotta keep on top of the garbage. Okay, I'm gonna keep moving. You're starting this pile here, but there's lots of HMS hooks in here, so we will all be going. Thank you. 
little piece of wire here, bare copper. Keep piling more being on the other side too now. Okay. Okay, that's cut. I'm gonna get the rest of that stuff over there. Okay. Okay. So basically the rest is gonna be so all HMS. Yeah. Okay, load I guess. I don't know what I'm gonna put all over here, but cut the aluminum off here. Okay, so I found this uh, big honking brass electrical strap of some sort. And, and all this mess here. It's like hard rubber. There it is. Nice piece of brass. I love that. Brass here. Couple copper straps. Ok, 
Can we keep going? Jivison or something. J J Vision. So, so the power supply, so let's look up. Oh. Transformers in there, look at that. Sort of an alarm system or something. Right in hole, see that? Okay, hmm. I'm not going to strip it now, but uh, I'll strip it a little bit later. But you, you can see what's in it. Might be for alarm system or something. Okay, you get one of these uh, mortars here that are uh, it's a rotary mortar. That was just hanging here. Okay. okay, took the bolt out already here. Probably not copper, but. It's aluminum. It's just cut like butter. It's not worth taking out. Not my style. If it was aluminum, like a big mortar, being plastic, they don't like plastic. They don't mind steel. Plastic is just something that they have to waste. Waste products for them. Tight there, I'm gonna have to stand it straight up. If it gave me much more room or not, but it's there. What are we gonna select now? Keep getting stuck in this, this little hole there. It's pretty heavy. Well, why so heavy? Let's say. <laughs> Cord stuck. It's a little like I put on top. Okay, I'll double stack it. Vandal time. This one hit there. Two hits. Vandal time. I usually use the bar, but the hammer works too. Hopefully it's copper, but who cares? Let's pull it out anyways. So, this little mortar over here has come out.
bin's getting pretty full. There's copper water right there. I pulled this off off the last one. HMS here. We can find an old key now. You'll have one handy. Okay, if I find one, I'm taking off and off. Not sure what I'm gonna do. Okay. Some small. Almost actually. Might be able to jimmy it. That's probably like a standard video, you know, that's probably metric. It's starting to get dark here, that's what they've been so far. I'm gonna put some stuff in that stuff. Don't have a lot of small stuff, but I'll put some things in there. There's a few buckets here and there, but you have to sort through it. Because there's a little good little things mixed in there. They strip really fast. Last one. Last one that the back piece came off. fridge on top of here okay keep moving here okay 